Welcome and thanks for joining me in this episode. I do away with my button clamps and I make some heel clamps. Before I get into this video, I just want to say Happy New Year. It's now 2020. We're a few days in. I hope everyone's had such a great start to the year and we'll just keep on rolling through all that uh, 2020 has to bring us and try and make it through the other end. In saying that, I think I hope 2020 is a great year. I want to launch the watch this year. Fingers crossed, you know, it took a long time to get the movement where it is. I've got some momentum behind me and I'm just gonna try and use that to, to just keep pushing forward. I used by the name of Carl, uh, who's been a long time um, supporter of my channel, almost from the beginning, I think. He's been on board and he's always offered a lot of great advice. And he w was, and he was one of the person that mentioned you know, the, um, the issues that I would have with these clamps and not having sufficient pressure to hold down, um, the actual brass fixture on the faceplate. And he said to do a test, use one clamp and see, uh, how much pressure is put on. And I could actually pull the brass fixture off the faceplate held in with one clamp. I wouldn't say quite easily. It did take a bit of force, but I think the lathe might produce a bit more forces than what I had used. You know, that's the great thing about this channel. Look, I'm just going along. I'm stumbling through. I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer. So all your uh, comments really help and, and, and I'm just navigating. So I like to use AutoCAD to um, figure out some dimensions that I need to get to. And one of them, one of the critical ones is the diameter that I need to turn down to fit the rectangle of my clamp inside. So if I fold down the two ends, once I hit like a, a 90 degree angle after I've cut the two sides off, it's going to be the perfect length. So I find that it's like 34.176 millimeters. I wish I had the camera recording. It was just a mundane parting off exercise, but disaster struck uh, my lathe. This, but yeah, that's where my, um, the carbide insert for my parting tool used to go. So I don't know what happened because I don't have any cutting fluid at the moment. I've been using the tapping fluid, which is quite dark. So I didn't see what had happened with the tool. All I felt was a bit of resistance and then kaplow and it just, uh, if it exploded before my eyes. It's always important to wear safety goggles. And when I operate the big lathe, that's something that I always do. It's very important. Your eyes are the most important thing. Yeah, so it was back to hand sawing for me.
tried to Google it. I don't know if these are heel clamps or toe clamps. They all look the same when I Googled both of them. There's really no wiki page. If you know the difference, please let me know in the comments below or create a wiki page. That would be great actually, because then it would serve for everyone looking to find out exactly what these clamps are. I think they're heel clamps because the, uh, the, the screws in the heel of the clamp. So I did do a single test as well with the, with one clamp on this fixture and it held super tight. Like I couldn't make it budge. So that's really good. Um, I'm happy with the way these clamps turned out. I'm just going to keep moving forward. Every day I have the opportunity to wake up. I'm going to try and, you know, get one step closer to making my watch a reality. So thanks for joining me guys. Hope to see you in the next episode.